So let's take a look at the following example in which we're going to analyze and determine the stereochemistry of the products formed in the photochemical cycloaddition of these two cis alkenes, of these two cis ethene molecules that each contain these identical R groups in cis fashion. So the first step in this example is we have to determine what the highest occupied molecular orbital is and what the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is under photochemical conditions. That means we use light as our energy source. So both of these two molecules are exactly the same. So that means they contain the same number of pi electrons too, and they contain the same number of pi orbitals, pi molecular orbitals. So we have the pi bonding and pi anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now we take our light, we shine the light onto one of our molecules. Let's say this molecule here. When we shine that light, an electron, one of the electrons in the pi bonding molecular orbital gains enough energy and transitions up to the pi star, the pi anti-bonding molecular orbital. And this becomes our highest occupied molecular orbital, our HOMO, and this becomes the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, our LUMO. So molecule one, let's say this one, combines with molecule two, let's say this one, meaning the HOMO of molecule one combines with the LUMO of molecule two. So let's draw that diagram using our orbital notation. So we have our pi star, our HOMO of molecule one, combined with pi star, the LUMO of molecule number two. So the green section designates our positive region of our wave function of our orbital. So we have this one pointing downward, this one pointing upward, here we have this one pointing downward and this one pointing upward. So basically these two molecular orbitals are exactly the same, but they're found on different molecules. One of them is empty, the other one has an electron. Now we have these R groups as well. So let's suppose we're combining them this way so that this R group is the one I'm about to draw. This R group is this one here, this R group is here, and this R group is here. We're basically combining them this way, and we're looking at the molecule from this angle. So we also have the H atoms coming out this way, but we're not going to worry about the H atoms. So now what we want to do is we want to rotate them so that in a single step, in a concerted step, we form the bonds between these carbons and these carbons so that we form our cyclobutane molecule. So how exactly should we rotate them to form our two sigma bonds? Well, let's finish our blue lobe too. Well, if we rotate this in this fashion and rotate this like so, we form our two bonds in a single concerted step. So this section, so we have a green will overlap with the green, so we form our green overlap, a sigma bond on that side, and a blue and a blue will overlap on this side. So we have this diagram here. Now let's examine individually where the R groups will point in such a case. Well, if this rotates 90 degree this way, the R group, which, which is pointing out of the board, will shift upward. So we have this R group basically points up. If this rotates this way, we see that this R group pointing this way will point up after that rotation. So these two R groups both point up. Now, this R group, because it rotates this way, it points like so. If it rotates uh, 90 degrees this way, this will rotate downward. So, this will point downward, and the same thing is true for this case. This will also point downward. So, if we look at the molecule top to bottom, then it basically looks something like this.
we have R, R, and R, R. So two point down and two point up. So this is one of our molecules that will form, it has this, stereochemistry. Now, this is not the only molecule that can form. We can have another molecule form in which all groups point in one direction. So to see how that is formed, let's take a look at the following orbital diagram. So let's take the same exact molecule as shown. So we have our R group points this way, R group points this way, and here we have also the same orientation for our groups. So we have our um, green here, green here, blue here, and blue here. Now, these orbitals are basically wave functions. So the blue region represents a negative wave function, and this is a positive wave function, and the same thing is true here. Now, instead of using a, a negative, a blue here, let's use a positive, a green here, so we can do it because that won't basically change our results. It will, well, it won't change the, uh, the density of our electrons. What it will change is the final product that is actually formed. So, now we want to basically orient or uh, rotate our molecules in such a way so that we form our bonds. So, let's try to orient this side in this direction and this in this direction. So we basically want to combine the blue sections and the green section. So once again, we form our molecule in which these blues will overlap and these greens will overlap as well. Now what about the R groups? Well, this points this way, rotating it this way will orient it downward, and the, same, and the same thing is true for this one. So we have pointing downward, downward, here this one and this one will also point downward. So we see that they all point in the same direction, and another way we can draw this molecule is in a following fashion. So let's say Downward, 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 downward. So this is one of the molecules that can form with this stereochemistry. And the second type of molecule, a different one, is this one, in which all the R groups point in the same exact direction. So basically, to go from this to this, all we did was switch the signs of these lobes. So these groups still point in the same region, but remember, an electron can be found in this lobe as well as in this lobe. So this is the negative, this is the positive section, and it can switch without actually affecting the orientation of these groups. And that's what we did in this case. We switched this one from a blue a negative to a green a positive, from a green a positive to a blue a negative, and the same thing on this one. This was green became blue, this is blue, this became green. Now if we switch this one and this one, we simply go back to this result and we'll produce this same molecule here.